and his opponents making his return to competitive pool. He was seeded in the first event in Wigan and went all the way to the semi-finals. He was then stripped of his status and banned from shootouts for six months for misconduct. So here he is again, fighting for his place once more. He's the real number one. He's George Tierney. So here we go again, the latest of these town shootouts events, which have proved a real success live on Free Sports TV. George Riley with you alongside Dan Davey once more. How are you, mate? Very good, George. Very good. Talking to Georges. Yes. Mr. Controversial. Yeah. Talk, talk our viewers through in, well, in the safest way possible what, what's happened to this guy and why he's back here today. It's, it's, a, <laughs> it's a bit of a tough one, really. He's been a bit of a naughty boy away from away from this event and away from any sort of uh, professional events, so to speak. But I think Orange Media just thought it was the right thing to do to to, to leave him out for a little while. Um, they have done. I suppose everybody makes mistakes. And uh, he's back. But what match is he going to be? If you haven't seen Jordan Church before, um, he is made for this shootout. He is probably... Probably the quickest player on the circuit, I'd say. That's good. I mean, that's seriously good. You know, he, he's. Yeah, there's no point being quick if you're missing everything. Uh, and we look at Jordan Shepherd, um, who's a very quick player. Uh, I, I think Jordan's quicker than Jor than uh, John Shepherd. So the two Jordans. But what you get with them, with the the flair, the flamboyance, you do get the odd silly mistake, as you do with most quick players, and. Um, what looked like it was going to be a really good chance that the finish has become an, an awful lot more difficult after that last shot from Jordan Church. Yeah, so a reminder, these a race through to five, 30 minutes maximum duration. Don't often get to that 30 minute mark. 30 second shot clock. Uh, it's not appeared on the screen for some reason. What a shot. Yeah, he rode his luck a little bit there, but it was, it was he played it deliberately off the red to open the pocket out for the I'm black. What a start. It's a great start, probably a, probably a good minute and a half tops. Break and finish from Jordan Church, and that's what he's in this shootout event for. He is, he's box office. Must be something about the name Jordan, because they <laughs> literally are. I, I'm, I'm not just talking in this shootout on the professional circuit, on, on, on all your big events. They are probably the two most exciting players in, in world pool. Um, one of the others that you're going to see later on is Sean Chipperfield. He plays at a rapid pace. Um, former world champion as well, so not not... Not, not just a quick player. Yeah, I mentioned at the very top of the show that we uh, we performed the draw just before we came on air. Let me run through that. You've obviously gotten on to what the first match is because you're watching it. <laughs> Jordan Church against George Tierney. Next on we'll have John McAllister and Zach Shepherd. Then Martin McIntosh against Neil Winkworth. Uh, twice club champion here at Crucible. Uh, Sean Chipperfield, Daniel Clark, Craig Lakin against a wild card. Money making against wild card. That will be revealed in due course. Matt Lawrenson against Liam Bullock. Simon Fitzsimmons against Barry Turner. Yeah. Turner. And Jordan Shepard, the defending champion, last on against a late call up that uh, John Joe Sharkey called in only this morning, I believe. Yeah, there was uh, Carlo Donahue was um, in this event and uh, he's from Ireland and uh, personal reasons he couldn't make it last minute so he's had to be replaced and they've they've got a, a very very good um, local player in John Joe Shark he plays out of this club um, same as Neil Winkworth what you're going to see later on so they are the two 
locals as such. And I'm sure they're going to get a lot of support. So first blood to John Church. Had a nice chat with him, actually, just uh, just before the top of the show and the introductions. So I'll be honest, Jordan, don't know a great deal about you. What, what do I need to know? He goes, I used to have a lot more hair than I do now. I used to have a big ginger mullet, he tells me. He did, yeah, and he was... Um, that's a great shot there from Jordan Church. He's He was... He joked in his uh, his little bio. He says, there we go, for the fans. He uh, he joked about he lost well. all his talent, stopped winning things when he lost his hair. Yeah. And he was a... Uh, he's only 32, I think, Jordan Church. Um, but he's he was a prolific junior. He was a multiple multiple world champion at junior level, European Championships, um, national champion, multiple multiple times. He was he really was feared um, as a junior, and uh, has continued to be, but hasn't probably probably he's underachieved. And what uh, a start this is! <laughs> You're going to see the talent he's got. He's, he's a great player. It's amazing. There's, there's some. If, if you had a highlights reel of him and the way he plays and his best frames and his ridiculous finishes, he's, he's a great, great player to watch. Yeah, he said, I don't really know what to expect from this. I said, well, I think you'll enjoy it. <laughs> oh, you, it's enjoy it's it. my first season on it. Uh, yeah. It's his first taste of it. He's certainly enjoyed it so far. He hasn't on his much hype return. <laughs> it's all about the return of Big George, but it's, he's had nothing to do so far. Literally had a break and that's it. Hasn't Hasn't had his hand on the table yet. And we're four minutes in, and he's 2 0 down. Well, here's your chance, George. First time with your hand on the table. Not quite desperate measures yet, because there is still one of, one of the good things about going 2 0 down against someone like Jordan Church is there's still plenty of time left in the match. But no good first up. No, that wasn't great, was it? Calls himself the real number one. Yeah, why? Um, nobody knows, really. Uh, it's, it's a character thing. <laughs> um, I don't even think he... He doesn't believe it himself. Well, he doesn't uh, specify number one at what. <laughs> uh, Could be the real number one, I don't know, in the kitchen. Who knows? Um, I guess he's alluding to the pool. I think he is, but... Well, because... <laughs> I'd be scared to ask him, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe later if he's still in. Maybe. I don't think there's much chance of it from the way that Jordan's no. going. He looks. Uh, he looks like he said to himself, "Jordan, look, I'm here. Let's let, let's see what this is all about. Nothing to lose, have I?" No. A little bit of work to do now, though. Oh. Well, if that drops. Then that's probably 3 0. Yeah, it was, and it only just missed. I think, George, these are the chances you have to take. He needs this, he's not winning. I mean, he's, he's big, he was big second favourite before this match started. So at 2 0 down, uh, he, he's, he's, a, he's quite a big outsider, but at 3 0 down, I think it's as good as over, to be honest. Um, Jordan Church is too good. Highly unlikely to see George get back into the match from 3-0 down and he's um he's messed this up already. He's left himself a really thin cut. That's a good shot, nicely done from Jordan from uh, George, sorry. Far from simple, these last four balls, but they're all they are all there. Um it's going to take a bit of figuring out, though. Now, if he can get through to this red bottom left corner, he's had a bit of a result there. Um, and, he, and he obviously can. He's slightly awkward queuing, but the pot's easy enough. I want to bring this out off two cushions somewhere up towards where the black is. In an ideal world, that is absolutely perfect. And he'll take the red into the top right corner now. And come back down table. Should be 2-1. Yep, yeah, he'll be uh, he'll be thinking job just about done there. Half the arrears. And this will be the first time he feels he's in this in the contest. 
Yeah, it was. I would go as far as to say it was a must-win frame as well. Oh, I just screwed back there to to make the. Could have left this long, but he's uh, quite confident. Confident queue in there to take it over towards the middle pocket, and it's two-one. Game no on. problem at all, and he'll feel a hell of a lot better after that. Controversial return for George Tierney. 2-0 down in the blink of an eye. But now he's in the match, and let's see what he's got. I'll tell you what he did have. You see the shirt he's wearing now. He had the shirt on about 20 minutes ago, the same style as what Jordan Church is wearing now, freshly made for him. And it was it was the tightest thing you've ever seen. It was three sizes too short. Right. I mean, he was struggling to get it off. So he's, he's had to change for he's comfort. He's had to change his shirt, yeah. Everyone was laughing at him. He was laughing at himself. And he just said, uh, I can't do this. I can't do this. I've got to take it off. And he did. But it was... It was it was not one of those things that... I'd say that one was slightly on the large side, if anything. <laughs> I think it is, yeah. It's a tent. Well, we're going to contest now. 2-1. Flying start from Jordan Church and an accomplished riposte from George. It's a big break. He has got a very good break, George Tierney. I will give him that. He's got a very consistent um, break. He, although he didn't pot a ball there, he got a good smash there. He got. A, he does get into them well. But the luck element of the break. Uh, I mean, he really couldn't hit him much better there, but nothing down. Jordan Church is back in. These are far from easy, though. The black's tied up. Um, and we're going to see him attack. So right cushion back into this ready and together. So he's opened that back out. But the, the real problem here is going to be the black ball. Mm. Oh, he's missed it. Well, he's missed it by a long way. Yeah, he tried to play it with rakes and rakes of right-hand side to um, to hold position for the for the red that's that's closest to where George is queuing now, and he's took his eye off the pot. Well, the thing about these shootout events, if you're new to our coverage here on Free Sports of the Town Shootout Series, which has been a huge success, it's just going from strength to strength. One of the key things is how quickly it can all change. Yeah, I mean we are. George didn't have a didn't have a prayer and he was 2-0 down. Suddenly he's no. got a chance, he could be back to 2-2. Two -two. George actually didn't make a single mistake to be 2-0 no. down. And um, although the black and the yellow are tied up a little bit here, he can get on it straight away now. He'll be, be trying to get on to uh, the yellow into the bottom left corner. Just needs to, he's under hit that. He's under hit that. That's quite poor from George because his margin of, margin of error... He could, he could have been high on that. He just didn't want to be low. And this is tough now. Yeah, this is awful. Yeah, he's crashing into the black. The white's going all over the place. I fancy him to get the pot. No, he needs a bit of luck, though. Oh, and he hasn't had it at all. He's had the opposite of luck. Great he's pot. The but opposite. Yeah. But, you know, I think you make your own luck sometimes. And he sort of got what he deserved, I think. Well, yes, for running out of position, but... With those shots, when, when they go, oh, it'll be all right, of course. You, you're always just going for the pot and crossing your fingers. But with these black ball rules now, I think Jordan could perhaps have played the yellow that's in the middle of the table. Yep. Um, with his first shot as his free ball to, you know, onto the red that he's going to try and cut into this corner now. And it kind of would have just put that yellow safe and made things a little bit easier. But ultra confident he's got down and just tried to put it clean. So a little bit to do on this shot now. Yeah, I think the angle's OK, though. He doesn't want to be screwing back directly towards the corner pocket. That's oh, good. That looks nice. Nicely done. Appreciation from the crowd, and that's 3-1. It looked like George Tierney was on the comeback trail. But one laps, and Jordan has taken him to the church for 3-1.
Well, the uh, the big return of this controversial figure at the moment is in danger of being a real damp squib. Could be in literally just 12 and a half minutes for Jordan to take a 3-1 lead. And he's, uh, well, it's quite, you'll find he's quite difficult to commentate on Jordan because he, he thinks quicker than I can talk. <laughs> you see already there, he's tried to play a skill shot. So he's tried to play the red onto the yellow and pop both, which meant he could have gone reds. He's not potted it, which now means he's on yellows, which is slightly more difficult, but he's played a lovely shot there and opened the frame right up. It's a really good shot. Yeah, he's, he's suddenly turned this into a very presentable opportunity. He is brilliant to watch. I'm loving his confidence. He's, he's, he's fantastic. I sense when I spoke to him, I said, I'll be honest, I don't know a great deal about you. What do I need to know? I sensed a few nerves, a few jitters. It's like I'm watching a different person than the guy I was talking to. Yeah, he's, he, play, he plays the humble card very well. Right. But um, I've known him quite a long time since I was a junior. We're the sort of same age, really. He plays the humble card really well. He's really, really well liked by everybody. Um, top guy, funny guy. Um, yeah, plays the humble, but always plays down his chances, but, but he plays as if he's the most confident player you've ever met. Well, how about that for a shot? It's a great, oh, it's, a, it's a fantastic shot. Well, he's running away with it, Jordan Church. And it's a bit of a nightmare for George Tierney. 4-1 in a race to five. Smiles all round. Yeah, it's a very confident look about him, isn't he? He, 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 knows he's, he knows he's playing well, he feels good. He's got George Tierney on the ropes here. So next up after this, John McAllister versus Zach Shepherd. John Mafauna, former World Championship semi-finalist. John McAllister is uh, a, a three-time tour winner on the IPA. He, last year, he won back-to-back -back events on the IPA. He is he is a serious talent. Um, there was a point, I think, last year where I'd have I'd have comfortably put him in uh, at top five on the planet, John wow. McAllister. And um, like we spoke about Jordan Church being quite prolific at youth level, I think um, John McAllister probably tops him. He was he was under 18's um, national champion at 13. When he was only 13, old. yeah. I mean, that's yeah. incredible. A, a, a full-grown beard as well. <laughs> well that's oh, even more incredible. Yeah. That annoys me even more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he used to get an awful lot of stick for, how are you still in the under 18s? <laughs> but, um, yeah, had other talent and Talking ahead of Hella talent, is <laughs> Jordan Church is just running away with well, this. Well, this is going to be over very, very soon. Uh, what yeah. do we know about um, John McCarthy's opponent, Zach Shepard? We Zach talk, talked about the other Shep. Yeah, a Welsh international, um, a, a good player, a very good player. He'll be second favourite against John McAllister. But, um, but yeah, don't, you know, he's, he's, he's a very good player. He's an accomplished player. Not a professional, he's an amateur, but he is an international uh, for Wales. And... Um, no mug, no no pushover. Plays a lot of money games as well, Zach Shepard. I think he wants to beat Matthew Stevens, the uh, snooker player, um, right. for a, around a two or three thousand pound prop uh, about three or four years ago. Didn't quite say it was his claim to fame, but it's um, it's, it's a name that people will know. We'll see George here just clinging on for dear life. Well, he's really pushing the boat out now. Well, nothing to lose, he thinks. No, actually. Where's the white gone? No, actually, I'm doing him a disservice there. That was that was quite a clever shot. He's deliberately played that as a shot to nothing. He's only left uh, Jordan kind of a an extravagant plant. It's quite difficult. Well, he won't have to worry about the match clock unless he can uh, start on the comeback trail because it'll be irrelevant the next frame he loses anyway. But if he can, uh, if he can win this, he might have one eye on it. But he can't afford a single miss. This is a very confident shot. 
up the cushion there and uh, has left himself a nice angle to clip this into the to the middle and develop his bad ball but unfortunately he's put it put it just as safe as it was previously but just on a different cushion yeah position wise he has options but uh, that wasn't the outcome from the dislodgement that he was hoping for could maybe be just looking at dropping this red in that he's closest to and leave himself a double no, he, he, it will be yeah, it looks like that's what he's played yeah the pot itself is is probably a, a good eight or nine out of ten it's just giving himself the right angle on this last red and not taking the cue ball too far away from it so he's opted to yeah, could just come back a little bit, and you're right, a little bit more distance now on the pot. Yeah, but he's shaking his head as well. I think the natural angle is going to take him sort of into the black. And No. Oh, he's, he's missed it. He's that that. The way Jordan Church has uh, attacked his town shootout debut, you would suspect George Tini might not get another shot. Yeah, this is uh, this is looking like curtains for, for George Tierney. This will be his last chance here. These are missable down the cushion at pace. He's gobbled that up. He's queued that really well. So all the hype was about the George Tierney comeback. Jordan Church says, I will just quietly go about my business and book my place in tonight's quarterfinals. What an accomplished debut. It was indeed. George Tierney's flight lasted longer than his entire tournament. And um, Jordan, Ch Jordan Church is going to take his place in the court finals later on. I can't wait to see him again. He was brilliant. Yeah, he won better against him playing like that. 18 minutes, 5-1. He is through. And we're back with match number two after this short break. <laughs> 